Welcome to the Storage on Demand webinar powered today by biztech2.com and brought to you by Dell. Cloud computing and virtualization are the hottest enterprise trends today according to all reputed IT research firms. At the heart of both virtualization and cloud computing is storage, an aspect that's often overlooked as commodity and realization dawns only when it's too late. On this biztech2.com storage on demand webinar, we will aim to discuss some powerful insights around storage on demand, viable answers to CXO concerns regarding storage and valuable perspectives on how CIOs can deliver storage powered virtualization and cloud computing capabilities to the business at costs and timelines that will have the CFO jumping with joy, thanks to storage on demand. To do this today, we have two globally renowned experts in their respected fields. First, we have Mr. P. Sridhar Reddy, Chairman and Managing Director of India's only Tier 4 data center firm, Control S. Sridhar is a successful serial entrepreneur in the technology and IT business, and he is the Founder, Chairman and Managing Director of the 750 Crore Pioneer Group. He is regarded as a thought leader in the data center industry. Next up, we have John Joseph, Vice President, Storage Solutions Marketing, Dell. John has been a leader in the data storage industry for nearly 25 years and as a part of joining Dell in 2008, John transformed, transitioned the newly acquired Ecologic product line and business into the sales and marketing organizations of Dell worldwide. Thank you gentlemen for being here. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. I wanted to initially start out with some of the current CXO storage challenges both from a global as well as an Indian perspective and perhaps Sridhar we can, we can start with you. From an Indian perspective what are some of the uh, storage challenges that CXOs are facing and I'm not just looking at CIO related answers here but CXOs themselves. I feel uh, the st storage uh, alone cannot be uh, separated out of the CIO's challenge. On one side uh, the uh, business is putting pressure on uh, efficiencies and uh, you know the speed and the, the with which the storage uh, operates on the other side uh, the uh, business uh, putting uh, the owners or the management putting pressure on him for the uh, cost optimization and um, there is a the third side of it is that uh, sudden pressure from business for the scalability now he has to, I think the key challenge that he'll face is that he has to balance these three and achieve a right equilibrium wherein he maintains the uh, needs of the business as well as uh, he's able to uh, scale up uh, whenever it is required and uh, provide the performance as well as at the right cost. Apart from that, uh, I see the today's storage environment is uh, extremely complex that uh, uh, the bandwidth of the CIO uh, to work on this at the same time is also so limited because there is uh, pressure on him for uh, from the business side for the new applications or the new, uh, handling a new business etc. And his, his bandwidth is choked there and uh, uh, managing the complexity of storage architecture I feel that the number of CIOs, CIOs that I met are not able to focus as a result their storage architecture is not that efficient. Okay. And John, what would you bring from a global perspective? You've been speaking to global CIOs and I guess some of the issues are slightly different when compared to India. So what's what's your take on it from a global Yeah, I don't think India is uh, really different in uh, in a lot of regards. Sridhar makes some very good points. Uh, the, the first thing that is uh, ha happening that uh, CIOs are, are faced with is data growth. And it's a very specifically unstructured data growth. And the rate of that data growth is exponential. So today if you have 500 gigabytes of data in your data center, five years from today you'll have uh, five terabytes, 10 terabytes of data. So the amount of data that CIOs are having to manage within their businesses is massive and growing very, very rapidly. We understand the business constraints that CIOs have to work with and they're dealing with cost constraints as well as complexity. And so the Dell response to that with our storage technology is to bring a simplified management architecture to their data centers so that they can manage that growth in a controlled way. They know where the data is because essentially you have everything from handheld devices to desktop devices and, and laptop and notebook type uh, devices that are all producing digital content. That digital content needs to be stored, it needs to be protected, it needs to be backed up for disaster recovery. It's the essence of the business. 
And so we're delivering solutions to protect the essence of the business. Okay. You, you spoke very well on data overload, but what about the effect also of compliance uh, as uh, on, on uh, enterprise storage itself? And especially in an era where I think thanks to the recent uh, downturn, uh, a lot of governments are getting increasingly tough on regulation and on compliance, and that is creating a lot of problems for organizations. Sure. Not only financial, which I think is what you're talking about, but uh, also medical. So as a patient goes in and has a scan, that scan needs to be retained for a very long period of time. If the patient were to have complications and uh, it would end up in a, in a court of law, those records would have to be brought to that court of law to settle the case for that patient. So in the medical industry, it's very important. In the financial industry, it's, it's very important. And in uh, regulated industries in general, retention uh, of these documents, retention of these uh, files is, is very, very important. So we put together an end-to-end -end solution that says when that digital content is being used right now, it's readily accessible by the business. Over time, and in some cases after three weeks, after four weeks of time, that is going to lose its relevance. It's going to be accessed less, less, frequency, less frequently. So what our intent is to move that digital content off of primary storage onto backup devices that allow us to, to back up and protect and create a, an image of that file that is going to meet the compliance and regulatory requirements of, uh, of the government or of the business that this uh, company works within. Can you tell us a little bit more about Dell's storage on demand approach and how really Dell is delivering some of these solutions to meet some of these business challenges you just described? Sure, with the products that we are selling, the Equalogic and Compellent products specifically, those are our scale out architectures. So what's interesting is that for the last 20 years that storage has been sold to, to large companies globally, they've had to buy in a, in a, against a forecast. So what do you think your, your uh, storage demand is going to be over the next five years? As you look at that demand, you have to buy storage and apply that to that demand. And as that, dema as that uh, digital content arrives, it's loaded onto that storage device. So essentially, you've spent a tremendous amount of capital to acquire a piece of storage technology that's waiting for the data to arrive on it. The difference between that and the scale-out architecture is that the, the storage arrives exactly at the time that it's needed and not ahead of time. So your capital expense, your capital outlay is lower in the, in the beginning. And so as you look at the time value of money, the business is keeping the money for a longer period of time and applying it to other problems that they're having to solve for their customers in applications, in virtualization, server uh, consolidation efforts, disaster protection technology, all of that money that's saved by not having to buy ahead because that storage is, is a scale-out architecture, meaning that it shows up when it's required and not ahead of time, that's a huge benefit for, uh, for the businesses that we serve.